So hello, in this video I'm going to do some urea chemistry. So you might think that uh, urea isn't used for much reactions. Well, it is used for making uh, hydrazine sulfate, but besides this, it doesn't really have much use. So as you can see, I got uh, a whole heap of urea here, and we're going to try to make some burette and also cyanuric acid. So I will measure some uh, urea out, maybe about 20 grams or something like that. So what we are going to be doing today is going to be the condensation of uh, urea. And as you can see there are two reactions here. And in one uh, you got two molecules of urea combining together at the temperature of around 150 degrees and uh, yielding you burette and ammonia gas and there's another rea reaction that proceeds at 175 degrees celsius that takes three molecules of urea and gives you cyanuric acid and three moles of ammonia gas so urea is on the hot plate and i'm going to also use my stir rod because that's going to be useful so as you can see the mixture is already molten and yeah, it's fuming a lot. And it's not ammonia yet because I got this uh, test paper and it doesn't really turn red yet. And you can see that there is very intense bubbling and very intense fuming. And there's also a bunch of stuff uh, that's selling on the walls of the beaker, which I'm not sure what it is. Is it like uh, urea that's like sublimating? Does urea even sublime? If you know, let me know in the comments. So this uh, releasing uh, quite a bit of ammonia gas, so you need to be careful because it's toxic and irritating. So, uh, yeah, it seems like, seems like we're almost finished. And so we're going to wait until this stuff is going to solidify because that means that all the urea is gone I think so at least and we got only our product so yeah that's what that's the result of this uh, reaction and now we gotta separate and purify the products so I'm going to dissolve it in distilled water to remove any burette and uh, and urea so we're going to recover the burette but it's not going to be the highest purity which is uh, because it's going to still have urea and cyanuric acid so cyanuric acid is pretty insoluble in water it's like uh, probably two grams per liter of water so that's not very soluble but uh, burette and Burette is more soluble and urea, yes, it's well soluble. So I got some hot water and let's pour it in. Dissolve as much as we can. So this is mostly burette and some leftover urea and here's our cyanuric acid. So as you can see I'm boiling down the solution of burette in hopes that I get some kind of nice crystals of it. Uh, and I also have this uh, you know, cyanuric acid on the paper. But uh, first I gotta show you something interesting about the burette. So I'm sorry that I couldn't just uh, show you the reaction of uh, burette with copper uh, sulfate because <laughs> I ran out of burette. But uh, I did it uh, previously and as you can see it yields this nice purple solution and uh, this reaction is to normally used for detecting uh, proteins you add you basify the solution of copper sulfate with sodium hydroxide and then add your protein if it turns uh, this kind of violet color this means the it's positive and uh, this reaction is actually named with, with, from the reaction of burette with uh, copper sulfate. Okay, so now I'm going to try to make some uh, copper cyanurate, which is supposedly a nice uh, violet uh, compound, insoluble in water. And I got some copper sulfate solution 
here on the left and on the right I got some sodium hydroxide solution. So I got already packaged some cyanuric acid. I will later just, uh, you know, uh, label it. So I'm going to make some sodium cyanurate. Okay, let's try adding the sodium cyanurate. Hmm, honestly that's not what I expected. So I finally got the copper cyanurate, it's like purple, very nice color. So uh, yeah, I just could have measured like the exact stoichiometric amounts of uh, sodium hydroxide and you know cyanuric acid, so like I didn't do that because I was lazy, but I should have done that. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. So we are left with some cyanuric acid and this nice compound uh, which is copper cyanurate. We didn't, we didn't recover much burette because like uh, there wasn't much of it. Uh, it I, when I get my thermometer I will probably repeat this experiment once again and uh, maybe I will get some more better results. We'll see. Hope you enjoyed. See ya.